Okay, this is my setup as you can see. Uh, I rearrange things so I can move the channel up to the next level. I brought out my 360 camera. I'm going to do things with it. I got my GoPro Session 4 and I'm going to do some um, high quality videos with it, some 4K and stuff. This is my second monitor, which is right here. This is the main frame that I see on the, see the uh, taskbar at the bottom, so I can open up whatever programs I end down there to use on a daily basis. And right now that screen is actually doing a backup of a external hard drive that I have sitting right here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a little box right there. It's five terabyte and it's uh, backing it up to my server. I got a new program, which is here. And I'm gonna see if it can actually handle that massive 605, 606 gigabytes of data to transfer. And it says it's gonna take like five hours. So we're going to see if it actually can handle that. And the name of the program is Easy US To Do Backup. And it's the version 10.0. That's Easy, E A S E, capital U S as one word. To Do is T O D O as one word. And then Backup. And it's the version 10.0. This is my good old keyboard here. Can change the lights on it to whatever you know green red yellow or nothing or I can actually get it to um, see can get it to alter between the screens itself I remember I don't do that that often so there we go it was red goes yellow, it goes green. And then I got my tablet sitting here so I can watch my live feed of my chat rooms as I broadcast with this system here, which is the beast that I built. Which is this, this here is an external CD DVD burner with a light scribe burner built into it. And it has a regular CD ROM DVD player built into it has uh, two USB ports here it has a whole bunch of I think it's like a almost a dozen USB ports on the back 2.0 3.0 um, this is my Bellinger uh, six channel mixer I got my two microphones in it which is one is right here one is right here that I use to do my podcast and then I got my Logitech, uh, got which Logitech that is. It's the 620 or the 7, 620, 720, something like that. Um, it's the, no, it's the Logitech 920, C920, I do believe is what they call it. And then I got my Logitech. 210, which is what you're actually view, seeing this uh, view with, which is right there. And then this is my laser, uh, just black printer where I print, uh, print off flyers and stuff like that or documents I need when I do a seminar. I got all my pins and everything in this socket right here. I got the ones I use the most. And then I got some other ones I use next. I got a couple of pencils in there if I need it. Then I got me a big Sharpie marker. Then I got my highlight pens and a permanent red marker if I need it. And then I got my uh, microphone windbreaker here. Different colors for different things I want to use. Then I got my 
uh, flag mic flags here. Stick your microphone right in there, and that's the mic flag with the uh, name on it. I got a few different ones of them. Depends on what channel I broadcast. Some of the channels I don't even have anymore. It's just something I've done in the past. So I'll probably get them letters actually taken off and put some other ones just like this one here, which is WKHM. That is where I used to broadcast on Justin TV. Used to have a radio station on there that I used to broadcast basically 24-7. I had interviews, people coming into the studio and everything, just like a radio station playing music and everything. I might take the letters off of it, or I just might take it and just keep it as a souvenir as something I've done in the past. But yeah, I've been straightening this up, setting it up so I can actually really do some real high quality uh, videos, my podcast and everything else is ready. I'm ready to kick it up to the next level. So yeah, this is my setup that I use on a daily basis. And I have my propel mic here. that I use on my tablet or on my cell phone. And as you can see, I'm not using a green screen right now, so everything is actually the color it's supposed to be, green. And I dropped the phone and uh, kind of chipped the, the uh, case a little bit. But I'm glad I had it on there because if I didn't, the phone would probably got cracked. Now, I love this case because it's one of the easiest ones I ever had to remove a phone from. You just peel back edge. It just wraps around it. That's it. It, it, it wraps around here and it wraps around this way. And you just get off one side. And that's it. And then this just cradles around here. This is made out of rubber here. I don't know what kind of rubber it's made out of, but... I take it out every now and then clean it, but that's the phone itself. That's the kind of phone I have. It's got two camera cameras on the back to get that high quality, uh, high resolution video. Real nice. You just put that right in there. Got your volume. You see it raised up. It's got your volume and your power. Got it open for your uh, two cameras sensor and the light this here you just line up the uh, volume right in that you see that hole right there you just line up that part that sticks out into that little hole right there and be sure it's lined up like that where it's lined up perfectly right there then you just take this slide this side here and just push it down, push it in where it's locked in good. Push on that side, case is on. Real solid case. I mean, this is plastic here, probably all of it's plastic, but this is plastic here. Then they lay this on top itself, and that way you can lay it down and nothing's going to hit the camera or anything like that. And, um, if you got it on cloth or anything like that, it pretty much grabs a hold of it. Real nice. Then you got all your opens down here, your speakers and your uh, charging port. And then you have your headphone jack and microphone jack here at the top. All around nice, heavy duty uh, case. But this is my setup. And hopefully I can crank out some serious content videos and podcasts sitting at this desk. And like always, anything that you would love to hear about on here or any suggestions or any ideas, uh, leave it in the comment below. And uh, we'll see what we can do to actually get that content on this channel. Like always, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. 
And if you're new here, smash that subscribe button. Hit that little bell, put a little check in that box so you will be notified when I put up new content on this channel. And while you're here and this video is just about over, go ahead and browse around and look at the other videos I have on this channel. And leave your comment below each one that you watch on this channel. And like always, do something today that will move you to that next level. Even if it's just clearing your desk and organizing it so you can be more productive. I'll see you on the next one.